What's up, everybody? It's Nona. Go and give me another reaction video. This one is World War II's unluckiest ship, the William D. Porter. Is this going to be like a weird play, Deporter? Is this going to be some weird play on words or some shit like that? I don't know. But this is obviously by Sam Onella. Now, this is number eight on trending, by the way. At least at the time that I'm seeing this, is number eight on trending. So, props to you. Props to Sam Monella. I love his videos because they're educational, but always dark. And he can, and for some reason, I guess he's so desensitized with all the things that he's looked up and found out that he can just say all these dark things so casually to the point where it almost flies over people's heads. And I might even sometimes have to rewatch it to figure out exactly what's going on. But right now we're going to get into this. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to this video and my channel definitely make sure to go check out the link to the, in the description to Sam Monella's channel and the original video we're gonna start this in three two one go this video is sponsored by Skillshare Hey kids, now some philosophers have called boats the airplanes of the sea, but while every glamorous Glennis has its slow-mo shun, so too does JJ the Jetplane have his awful, awful counterpart. Her legacy in many ways resembles my middle school career, a three-year-long travesty plagued by blunder after blunder due to both gross incompetence and sheer misfortune, with the only silver lining being that it's remembered by relatively few. Meet the USS William D. Porter, nicknamed the Willie D, which was a perfectly acceptable alias in the day Days before don't ask don't tell she was a Fletcher class destroyer which if you know Fletcher as well as I do you know he's pretty high class at destroying like when he snapped off my DS screen during summer camp because he was trying to get a better look didn't even apologize he was just like well you're not supposed to bring video games to camp anyway even though everyone did fuck you Fletcher you were a counselor you're supposed to be more mature than us you're the reason I grew up with a lingering resentment towards authority and my only reprisal is that I got to draw you as a disgusting fat lard for millions of people Actually, I think his name would have been Eric. Anyway, in oh July of 1943, the ship was commissioned by the Navy and led by Lieutenant Commander Wilfred A. Walters. As her first real job, the Willie D was assigned to a top-secret escort mission across the Atlantic. Walter was like, alright man, time to prove ourselves. I want to see you all on your A-game. And as its first act under military command, the ship didn't raise anchor properly and tore a massive chunk out of the ship next to it while pulling out. Okay, rough start, but definitely not a sign How does that happen? The next day, she met up with three other ships, including two destroyers and a battleship known as the USS Iowa, and the fleet set off towards Africa. Given the clandestine nature of the operation, they were ordered to maintain total radio silence so as not to alert any subs that might be lurking below. Suddenly, boom, bang, borf, Hare Krishna, huge explosion off the starboard quarter. They're like, holy shit, evasive maneuvers. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. After however many minutes, the transmission comes in saying, Uh, hi, this is Wolfred D of the Willy Walter. I mean, uh, so a depth charge may have accidentally fallen off the ship, and we may have also forgotten to turn off the safety mechanisms on said charge, causing it to detonate immediately. So, if you heard a little noise a bit ago, no cause for alarm. Also, sorry for breaking radio silence. Love you, bye. Shortly thereafter, a strange phenomenon was spotted near the ship. Officer, what in the rhyme of the ancient fuck is that? Here's to be a large wave. Sir. Jesus Christ, they have that now? Basically everything that wasn't tied down ended up being swept off, and one of the boilers in the engine room got full barred. But fortunately, no crew members Ooh. were taken what? away, except for the one that was. Later, the four ships congregated in the waters east of Bermuda when the Iowa decided to test its anti-air abilities and launched a bunch of weather balloons for target practice. A few of these drifted towards the Willie D, and they took some pot shots just for fun, probably wrecking some happy albatross households in the process. But Walter was like, man, it's time to redeem ourselves. Spit those crayons out. Don't you know the purple ones are bad? for you. Time for some impromptu torpedo drills on the Iowa. Yay! That was Narnar and the Pow Pow. They're gonna douse their trousers when they see how good we tore those pedos. Say, you guys remember to uh, take the primer out of all of them before launching, right? Yes, sir. Yep. What? Fortunately, the Iowa didn't really have much valuable cargo that could be damaged in the event that the torpedo struck. Oh, except for 32nd President of the United States Franklin Delano Roosevelt, who was being escorted to Cairo as the whole point of the mission. The next five minutes aboard the Willie D were just total fucking chaos. Humid sacks of rice, hogs and bats sniffing each other, massive stereos. Commander, we really should radio them. No! I am not breaking any more rules! Do the flashy light thing! <laughs> uh, signal from old iron brains, a uh, yuck. They're saying they're uh, going to reverse at full speed? 
Why she Shit off a bow sprint, this ain't working! Fine, call him! FaceTime Uvu, I don't give a hoot! The transmission <laughs> arrived in the nick of time, and the torpedo detonated a safe distance away in the Iowa's wake. Of course, that didn't stop the entire crew of the Willie D from being arrested for, you know, shooting a torpedo at the president. Lawton Dawson, the Elmer's eater from earlier, was initially sentenced to 14 years hard labor, until FDR came out and was like, no, no, it's okay, boys will be boys. But we are sending you and the rest of Carnival Cruise Line to Alaska, where there's fewer things to ruin by being yourself. Get it, Carnival? Cruise Line, because you're the worst, and also clowns. So they kicked it for a while in the Aleutians, otherwise known as the Aleutians. tail of the pregnant rat that makes up what the last What the This went on fuck? mostly without incident, except for when they were anchored outside an officer's home during a New Year's Eve party, and a sailor got drunk and decided to fire off one of the five-inch guns for a laugh, and ended up sending a bunch of his geranium straight to hell where they belong. Other than that, smooth sailing. Then they hung out at the Philippines for a bit before Central Command was like, alright, looks like you smooth skins are ready for actual missions again. Except you, you're going to clown college. And the Willie D was sent to the Battle of Okinawa under the leadership of some guy named Charles. Here they actually did some worthwhile stuff until June 10th, 1945, when a kamikaze began to dive towards them. They weren't able to shoot it down, probably because it wasn't American, but it crashed in the water some ways away. They were like, phew, crisis averted. Turned their attention elsewhere, unintentionally driving right over where the bomber landed. The plane was like, the hell? Oh, shit, that's right. <coughs> uh, Banzai. <laughs> <laughs> repairs went by before the order to abandon the ship was given, and miraculously, every crew member made it out alive by the time the ship sank, just 12 minutes later. So it just goes to show, everything has its silver lining. Everyone on the dipship gets to live, every filthy Chuck E. Cheese ball pit has a delicious prize at the bottom, and the vast nexus of pointless diversions we call the internet actually has a couple productive things to do on it too. Sponsor time, Skillshare is- Alright, so... First of all, what is up with the types of names that they choose for ships back in the day? Willie D? I mean, I, I, like he said before, don't ask, don't tell. But, like, why? And then I'm surprised that they weren't that brutal with the punishment. Just, what, what, um, what did he say? They sent him to Okinawa? Like, the fuck? Even, even 14 years of hard labor is like, okay... But you shot a torpedo at the president and you're stupid. Like, I, I don't see 14 years being all for shooting a torpedo at somebody. So I'm really surprised at how lenient they were with that. I mean, sure, might have to do my own research, but I'm, I'm taking his word for it. That That's exactly what I'm doing, because I don't want to do my own research. I, I don't feel like it. But... It, I just find it crazy to me how many things happened back then, and with the intelligence that we have now, I'm so glad I didn't, I wasn't around back then, because those people were stupid, like, some people were genuinely, like, just dumb, like, it was certifiable that they were just stupid, like, I, I don't understand how somebody can be that dumb, but I don't know, I, I do not know at all for the life of me, but I'm gonna see you guys next time, next reaction video. Um, I'm definitely live streaming today. I, I got to, I got I gotta get like a good amount of videos and live streams out before I start working, because when I start working, I'm gonna be real tired again, because I'm not working at little store or anything like that like I was before. I'm gonna be real tired when I start working at my job. So I need to get as many videos and live streams out as I can in these next four to five days. But I'm gonna see you guys next time and peace.